friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kendra. I do lifestyle, beauty, travel, and some fashion videos for you guys. So if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, ring my bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Hello, ring the bell, y'all. <laughs> no, but today's video is all about my 11 month update. Um, since last uh, month's video was kind of late, I kind of wanted to give y'all enough time to see the changes in my hair. So this video is late <laughs> and the next video will probably be late, but I'll be a year locked. So I gotta be on time. We'll see. I don't know. So anyway, I'm 11 months locked as of the 8th of September and there has been some changes in my hair. I know I say that all the time, but I'm seeing changes. So <laughs> there has been some changes in my hair. Um, I want to talk to you guys about the updates and then I'm going to give you guys a 360 of what my hair is looking like at 11 months. So if you guys are interested and you want to see and hear all the juicy details, keep on watching. Alright you guys, so let's start with um, what's happening with my hair at 11 months. So at 11 months, my hair is balling up at the ends like crazy and it's starting to really lock. Um, I know like the, the whole back of my hair has balled up. Um, the only section that has not really, the ends have not really balled up is this, this front part right here. Like all this right here that I'm always pulling on, you know, this is, this is my favorite part to kind of pull and pick on, has not really balled up. There are some that have balls at the ends, but for the most part, it's still a lot of loose hair here. Um, so the majority of the back of my hair has balled up y'all and I am so excited I can't wait to show you guys they are pretty much closed and you know the hair is really really starting to lock up as you can see and I don't know if you can tell the fullness in my hair is going down they're they're getting tighter and um, condensing and you know forming so the loose hair that I once had that made my hair look really full is now turning into condensed locks so I'm loving like I said in my last video, I'm loving the fullness that I did get. I'm loving how thick my locks did get. I know we're not done, but I have a feeling that I may lose a little bit more volume. I'm not sure. Definitely in the front. I am really, really, really happy with the way that my locks are turning out. I'm super excited and I cannot wait to see when they fully lock what they're truly going to look like. Um, so yeah, they are balling up at the ends. They're starting to really lock up. At this point, I am still braiding and banding, but I am not following my wash schedule. Y'all, I might, I might wash my hair once every two, two or three months. Y'all, it's bad. It's bad. I need to really get, um, actually, I don't need to get on a routine because it's working for me. My locks aren't thinning or anything. I mean, the smell isn't all that. I mean, according to Bay, it could be better. <laughs> locks just attract smells. Smells just come into locks. So... Yeah, I, I, I'm not washing on the schedule. I don't have a schedule. I just do it when I think Bay's tired of, sm tired of smelling it. I know at one point I, I said I was doing it like every, what, two weeks, but I ain't even really been on that schedule for real. So yeah, you guys, I'm not really keeping up with the, the wash schedule, just doing it when I can. Um, and then you guys, I did combine a lot of my locks um, in the nape, of course, that last video scurred me. Okay, so I combined a lot of the locks in my nape because I wanted to make sure that they had a nice solid foundation and that none of them, none of the other ones were going to be falling out. Okay. Some of them were quite thin back there and that's a section of my hair, of everyone's hair that's already thin. So can you imagine like thin areas, thin locks? I mean, it, it, they're bound to fall out. So I combined a lot with the lock beside it and I'm feeling very, very comfortable and very, very confident with the way that the back of my hair, you know, is now. I'm very happy with how I combined them and what they look like now. So I'll show you guys that in the 360. So I did combine some all up and through here as well because some of them were quite small. I remember when I first did my um, establish my locks. Remember I established with two strand twist. Some of them up here were too big so I split them. Now as I'm looking at them, I'm like, why did you split those? Because now they're too thin, okay? Um, I'm going to show you the ones that I actually combined. They're still small lots. And I'm just like, wow, if they're still small, can you imagine what they look like when they were not, not um, combined? They were way too small. At first, I was all about, okay, I got to have so much volume. I got to have a lot of volume, so I need a lot of lots. No. Mm-mm. Mm -mm, don't work like that you got to have a strong foundation that's why it's so important to 
establish a grid. It's so important to establish a grid because you want your foundation, the base of your lock to be so strong because your lock is going to get heavy and your root needs to be able to handle how thick and heavy that lock is going to get. So um, establishing a grid is very important. When I established my locks, grid wasn't that important to me. I did do a grid, but like I said, I went back and split some and her, sure enough, I went back and, and combined them the way that they were supposed to be the first time that I did it. So if I would say anything is to make sure that you establish a nice, you know, strong foundation so that your locks can flourish and you don't have any of them falling out all over the place, you know? <laughs> Before I combined it this time, I had 556 locks. That's a lot, right? That is a lot. And I really don't think my hair is that thick. So low density hair, 556, that just seems like a whole bunch of locks. I was caught up on numbers at the beginning, you guys, and fullness. So I'm still not using any products in my hair. Um, the only thing that I'm using is shampoo still. I get a lot of questions. Oh, hey, can you tell me how you keep your locks so moisturized and how they always look so shiny? So shiny? I'm not doing anything. I'm just using the Suave Daily Clarifying Shampoo. That is it. Now, in the summer months, I don't use anything else. But in the winter months, my scalp may require me to use a little bit of oil on my scalp. So I may use a little bit of tea tree oil. But that is pretty much it. I just spritz my hair with water all day. I set my hair with distilled water. Nothing else. There's no setting lotions. There's no moisturizers. No nothing. Okay? It's simply just water and shampoo. That's it. My hair is not fully locked at this point, so I don't want to use any moisturizing products. I don't want to halt the progression or the locking process, so all moisturizing products are out. Um, I've had so many companies come to me and say, oh my God, can you review our product? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. If you know anything about locks, if you did your research on Kendra and Shay, you'll know she's 11 months locked and she is not fully locked yet, okay? So we can't be using any moisturizing products on our hair at this point. Well, I can't for my hair um, because it's going to slip out. Still, I still, after wash, get slippage around my nape and around my edges. So i got to be careful. i got to be careful. I'm really ready for these locks to really like lock up already so yeah so we're almost at a year and we're not fully locked yet so I am still braiding and banding my hair no moisturizing products no oils in my hair just water and shampoo that's it girl that's it <laughs> so all right you guys without further ado we're going to get into the 360 if you guys have any questions anything that I didn't address in this video definitely post them down below and um, I will be happy to answer them but y'all without further ado let's get into this 360 and I'll talk to you guys down below in the comment section bye <laughs>